FireAmp is for advanced malware. It's a product that uses big data analytics to fight threats missed by other security layers. This short video will give you an overview of FireAmp in less than four minutes. When it comes to advanced malware, we're finding that clients are struggling with some tough questions. First, many of them don't know if they even have an advanced malware problem. Once they discover they do, it's hard to figure out who was infected first and how widespread the problem even is. They also often struggle to understand what the malware does and how to remove it, and they're naturally concerned about stopping other attacks. This video will show you how FireAmp can help clients answer these questions. So let's take it from the top. How do you know if advanced malware is even a problem on the network? Well, FireAmp has built-in detection capabilities. We're using some pretty sophisticated techniques like machine learning to evaluate more than 400 characteristics associated with the file. This is all proprietary. It's the intellectual property behind the product. Once you're using FireAmp, it's actually pretty easy to see if you have an advanced malware problem. You can check the dashboard or schedule reports. The heat map on the dashboard shows which groups are in trouble. Red is bad and green is good. You can drill into the summary for more information. We're seeing actual files here that may be advanced malware. The dashboard's a great option for real-time data, but most users will probably just want to get a report. And there are several worth subscribing to. High-risk computers show systems that are already infected. Now the security admin knows who has problems before they call the help desk. Threat root cause shows apps that are introducing malware. You can make policy decisions with this report. For instance, maybe it's time to stop supporting IE6 because it's introducing too much malware. The APT report shows threats that may be unique to your environment. Okay, once you've confirmed that advanced malware is a problem, you need to figure out where it started and how far it spread. This is where file trajectory helps. Knowing which system was infected with malware first is important because it helps to identify malware gateways. If you aren't addressing the problem at the source, then you'll run the risk of reinfection. File trajectory also shows how malware is spreading across the network. FireAmp shows all the other systems that have downloaded a specific malware file and whether it's been executed. All this information is valuable as you complete the recon to understand your exposure. After isolating the systems affected, you need to understand how the malware behaves. For instance, is it just spyware or is it actually something worse? This will help you figure out what's needed to recover. File analysis gives you detailed info on how the malware behaves. Again, red is bad, and as you can see, this malware is pretty nasty. File analysis is based on work done by the VRT. They even include the original file, screenshots of the malware executing, and the network capture so you can write IPS signatures. The last question to answer is what you can do to keep the problem from getting worse. FireAmp provides outbreak control. There are a lot of vendors touting solutions for advanced malware, but this is one area where they really fall flat. With simple custom detections, you can tag malware so that it's quarantined on every system that sees it from now on. For threats that are more complex, you can write advanced custom signatures. SourceFire clients will love this because it's similar to how they can write signatures for IPS. There's even a feature called Cloud Recall that rechecks all endpoints under management without requiring a full scan. If it finds specific malware, on any system, it's immediately quarantined. We've just covered the highlights. There's so much more to FireAmp, but we'll save it for a longer session. Here's a recap of the questions.